uh, hey Beamer, is that where you sleep at night when Ryan gets mad at you and kicks you out? I mean, hell, Mako's video last, last night, you heard? I, my kid felt like I was fucking degrading him, and, and... Well, you've never made me feel like, like, I am lesser of a person, that you're talking down to me. No, I got a problem with making you feel like you're a dumbass, though, and I don't yeah. intend to. I mean, I'm, I'm working on it. That's what I mean. You have to, you have to know you're doing something wrong and try to change it. Recognize it and try to change it. Hey, Barry, you want... You have to change it. Hey, Barry, you once said on a live that if i was your kid you would disown me which is wrong barry if i was your son you would be in a home he would disown your ass you'd be there with no lights no smokes you would have no choice but to sell the motherfucking no. cars or star he would be in a home i would i would you can't, fucking you can't just throw somebody at home i mean, I mean well you know, three days. But, so he, but he, Ryan could go to the Board of Health and say, look, my dad has a problem. He's a hoarder. I, I, I'm living here with him. The house is unsafe. Exactly. It's a fire hazard. Could you please come in and help me? And then the Board of Health will come in and say, Barry, this is your options. Here's what's going to happen. You're either going to do it or you're not. And Barry either do it or not. And eventually the Board of Health will just clean the house out and be done. Hey, Barry, I'm glad I had the dad I had because my dad never touched me. No, you won't find yeah, no nasty shit on me. I mean, no. no. It's no. Just a and you can make fun of the Orn Duff name. I mean, what about Orn Dork? I, I mean, Orn Dorcas. Yeah, I mean, he couldn't even come up with anything like that. I mean, you know how many times I heard in my life, dude, if your Uncle Jack was on the roof, would you help your Uncle Jack off? I mean, that's just one of the many. I mean, come on, man. I mean, you're not going to say that hurt my feelings. And, buddy, it's not Austin, it's Austin. It's Austin. Marie, don't here. forget Marie. You know, you That's what I mean. You think any fucking thing? You don't think you think anything you would ever say about the Beamer would fucking like piss me off or hurt me? No, because you have to be a person like Beamer <laughs> for somebody to say something like that. First of all, your opinion. I have to care what you think. That I have to feel that you're valuable enough that your opinion matters. You know how many times? There's dude, not many people I feel like that about. You know how many times do my dad or my grandpa has embarrassed me? Let's let's try when I was like fucking five or six. Look, he wore that motherfucking recliner. Plum the fuck out. I was like five or six, right? My grandpa, there was a sheriff's badge. You could write on it. My grandpa went and wrote, "Hi, I'm Doofus McGee," and walked me around the whole fucking day with me pointing that out and people laughing at me. You think anything you would ever fucking say about me, dog, would hurt me? Tough love, folks. Tough love. Builds character. My parents taught me. That life hurts. People suck. But you be respectful. When, but not because you respect somebody because it's the right thing. You be respectful until somebody's not respectful to you. And and I was 100% respectful to this cocksucking piece of shit until he wasn't to me. He said, fuck me. Well, Barry, I'm, who's getting fucked I'm now? glad. I'm glad that his son had that fuck, his mom and him raised Ryan, because they at least taught him that the world hurts. Barry would be the type of kid, raises his kid up, and sends his child to college and gets hit by a bus because you didn't teach him the world was dangerous and scary. Barry would never raise, Barry would never raise him. He would have been in out of welfare custody, from what I understand. Mean. Y'all want to hear something comical? This motherfucker had a padlock on, on his Mach 1 hood. <laughs> Barry, are you going in the feeder? No, he's getting ready to run that. Oh, Change your shit bucket? What? I got my hopes up. I thought maybe he's going to run that Roadrunner. There's our challenger. There's, There's our garage. secret room with our prisoner. <laughs> hey, Barry, when are you going to get that out of the closet? There's our batteries. Being up. I tell you what, you can drive it out of the closet. Look, it's a jumbo sized bottles of lotion for her belly. <laughs> hey, Barry, why does your rear end hang so fucking low? <laughs> That's what I'm saying the other day. I mean, look, look how the rear end hangs in that bitch. <laughs> hey, look, he stole some autos on tools. Where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> Alone or two, you don't have to return them, but. Hey, this man, he comes out like he's a fucking, like, a saint, so I mean. I just wanted to remind you, Barry. Leave them kids alone. Hey Barry, we're gonna get a hold. All in all, you're just another loser, pedo. Hey Barry, we're gonna get a hold of Pink Floyd, and we're gonna see if they can't collab on an album with us, because we're so big and famous now that we start making fun of you. We're almost at 200 subscribers, winning. We're gonna see if Pink Floyd wants to collaborate and make a song about you. 
believe it or not, Barry, that's at least 200 people so far that agree with us on something at least, or they at least enjoy hearing us roast you. Yeah, I mean. Hey, Barry, why'd you spray paint your fucking garage windows? Oh, that's so when you let Tiny Hands out of that back room to watch Caesars. When he's got on that little dog chain walking around. Hey Barry, do you know how to fix one window right? Is he on his hands and knees? Uh -uh. I'm just confused. He said I'm open for business. I just all the hot rods over there. <laughs> That's all right, was poor. <laughs> Look at that shit. Look at. I just never realized that. Look next to the bumper back, dude. That's what's called rough cut. You just admitted you're never going to get out of the garage. No, but you're about there. Like 12 packs away. Holy shit. Is that even tied into the. There we go. No. There we go. Yeah, you better get. I think he's got your mat. I think he's got your mats and rims on that fucking car. Hey, Barry. Shut up. Don't say that. He does. I swear to God, he does. It's just a national, you know. Hey, Barry, I have two rims, I'll sell you. It's, it's not that cut and dry, Barry. It's not. You, people just don't live and die. It's what you do when you're on this planet that matters. When no. you're born, it doesn't matter. When you die, it doesn't matter. It's what you do and what you put in while you're here. It took me a long ass time to learn that. I got a question. Why do pieces of shit like him live to fucking see 70? I feel like that dude that worked on that Nissan up there. Good people like him. Your mom? I mean, are, are, are having serious health issues. I don't, I, I don't try to, I don't try to like, think a lot of that shit. It pisses that's, me off. Yeah, but it brings bad karma, bad mojo on you, dude. I mean, you know. Because I'm not God. I can't pick and choose who dies. That's God's job, you know what I mean? But it, it is frustrating, dude. No, I mean, you know what it makes It makes me? A serious note. I want to be judge, jury, and uh. I mean, no, how you deal with it is when you find a bad person like this that is truly a bad person. You make them get on their knees to pray. You don't. You don't. You don't help them. You let the world know they're a bad person, like the pedos that live next door. Put signs in the paint on the windows of the car. Make sure I put the charges, their names. Their fucking phone number, whatever, their address, every fucking thing, dude. How signs on the house. When you have a bad person that you have to deal with, you let the world know they're bad people. Don't fuck with these people, they're bad. Because Bobby, dude, he, he's lived on hell of a life, dude. Yeah, he's a good guy. I mean, he, he, he's... He is ten times more successful than Beamer will ever be. This dude was doing shit, dude. Like... Like big time shit. I'm not gonna get into details, but big time shit. Meeting presidents and shit. When fucking Barry was stolen from his mom. You see him standing next to people from Philip Morris a lot. Tobacco shit. Yeah, yeah you see him standing next to people with by, that. The which before my times, what was it, Philip Morris? It's back when cigarette. Look, years ago when I was a kid. Before that, they didn't put like Will Cross cancer on the package shit. Yeah, a lot of people got it together and sued the tobacco companies. Because it caused cancer, and that's how the, the label got put on the pack. But he he was 
in charge of all that shit. He was with all that shit. Uh, I'm thinking Philip Morris. I'll, I'll ask him tomorrow. Because I don't want to speak here and say something. About, but he was like in charge of like the, 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 the keeping the file straight or something. I don't know. I mean, he lived one hell of a life. There's pictures of him like standing on stage while they're having press conferences and shit next to his dad. They would, the cigarettes company was trying to say, oh, it don't kill you. And everybody was saying, yes, they kill you. And there's a battery there. His dad was a kick-ass dude. His dad worked. His dad lived to like what, eighty or ninety? Uh, over hundred. I mean, they had a plane in that little barn you guys see in that shore. I mean, yeah, he had a, fucking. There's a, plane, there's a plane in there until two or three years ago. He he worked for a Chry for Chrysler Corporation in India, the plant. I mean, he was. That's where he had I got, some cool That's stories. where me and Austin got them parts that we're getting ready to take to to Kansas, Kansas, right? Yeah. Missouri or is it Missouri? Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas somewhere. Yeah. Uh, later on the summer, that'll be a thing, but we'll get into that later on the summer, but. That's where we got parts from the truck out because he wanted the truck out of there and there's I couldn't get the whole truck home. It wouldn't even roll. You busted a semi. You guys, I wish I wish I would have been doing this YouTube thing a couple years back because they had he had a bunch of cool old cars. Me and I are actually getting ready to work on what was it called? Grand Page. A uh, Grand Page. Ready to, to, to get a, a 20s model Grand Page on the road. I mean, his dad was a cool ass dude. I'm gonna give him my all. The oil pan's been off of it for 25 years with the motor in the car, so I don't know. I don't know how successful I'm gonna I mean, be, but this is how kick ass the dude is, right? He's get he's gave me a quad and said, "Here, I want down my way." He's gave me fucking three or four engines and said, "Here, I want him down my way." I mean, the guy's a great ass dude. I mean, he's the dude that Barry claims to be. I mean, that's where our we have three square body trucks. I mean, that's where they're setting He's the guy we're working on, this I green Dodge truck. You can't bring everything here right now. I mean, I, I live in town. I mean, I have to be respectful to my neighbors and my house. Yeah, because I'm like Barry, we like our neighbors liking us. Right, I mean. It's nice when you fucking drive down the road, you wave at your neighbor, they, they wave, wave back. back. Or if they need something, they come and ask you for help, you know? Nice. Why does I mean, every... Look at the mold on the carpet. Is look, no, look underneath the dash. Look at the mold, dude. He's got one of the... The club on it? The fucking... Thing that starts the car, you know, you pull. They've done it before on their car. You got a rod that you pull. Oh yeah. It's the, hanging on the dash. Hey Barry, why don't you get in that and run it down the road and go back in time and not tell me and Dad to fuck off or what? Right. Fuck you. And then, and then watch what you say about other. Look at that. That fucker's bubble. That motherfucker is done, folks. I mean, it would need everything. And trust well, he's me. He's done there. Is he? I think that is actually the rocker rotted off the car, right? No, that's the ground effect. Is that the ground effect? effect? Okay, well, that's what I was going to say. Then if it's the ground effect, what he's done is he's made a bowl for water to go in and, and just set. On ground that. effect slash rocker guard, whatever you want to call it. Rocker cover, I mean. This is a time machine we call it around here. And there we go. Look how wet the seats are. Go back in time and, and, and watch what you say about other races. That's just dirt. That's dirt. Other nationalities. That's water damage. That's mold, bro. That's mold on the seat. Barry, there are people that would actually do these cars justice. Please get a hold of them. You would have to take, you would have to take them fucking seats out and throw them away. If there's mold there, folks, there's mold on the foam underneath. Think. What y'all think about something, dude? Barry's been collecting for 40, over 40 years, right? Why don't he have one nice hot rod slash daily driver? I'm not talking show or trailer, but I'm talking a nice daily driver. Check this nice. out, dude. He's not a hoarder. But, uh, we know other people do. Uh, Dennis uh, Collins with his uh, coffee Oh, he would have spit on you if you're on fire. <laughs> Can you imagine what the inside of the cup looks like? This motherfucker done picked the cup up, been in the time machine since the beginning of time. Go take an house, hand wash that bitch, not bleach or nothing. Promise he's gonna hand wash it with a rag of soap. And if somebody comes over to his house and wants something to drink, you would have to be the dumbest motherfucker in the world if you ever pulled up to a house like this and they offered you something that wasn't sealed, like a can of coke or something, and you took it and drank it. Like that one person's house, the walls fucking me crawling cockroaches. I mean, bunking, paratrooping in food. Fucking set of pizza down on the fucking floor and a box start crawling. My first wife's mom, I can, like even to this day, I can't, I can't 
If I'm eating something that ain't supposed to be crunchy and I bite into something crunchy, I'm done eating it. I mean, I'm done eating Because my first wife's mom had roaches so fucking bad, dude, that and it, they had a cabinet over the stove. When you open the door, them fuckers are paratrooping the chili and shit. And I was eating chili one day, dude, and I bit into something crunchy, so I spit it out, and it was a fucking roach. And ever since I was fucking... I got married the first time at 16 years old, dude. Hey, that's and ever since then, I've been done with that. If I bite into something crunchy, when it's supposed to be soft, I'm done. And Barry, just in case you're watching this man, and he's not talking about my mom. No, not a fucking all, dude. It was a 73 month one that was stored in a movie called Eleanor. And Eleanor I met, was I met his mom back in 96. It's a green mock. That's a 72 mock. Wasn't the first Eleanor yellow, though, like your other car? And this was our clone. With black stripes? It's clone right here. This is our Eleanor. And you can see the yellow. Yeah, never mind the fucking frame damage. I think it'd be funny if one of these fuckers tried to buy bankruptcy. It was a really all that fucking shit would be gone. Like gone, gone, gone. It wouldn't matter if they power chapter 7, chapter 13, or, or chapter, your honor, please don't make me sell my cars. I'll stop trying to file bankruptcy. It's starting to be too late. Hey, Barry, what happened to you getting on this one? This is four years ago. Hey, Barry, he didn't kiss my Barry, what'd you do about the fucking quarter? You said you got three. That's not three quarters of the way done. And I pulled it all out, straightened that all out. Yeah, your frames, your frames, okay, I'm sure. That unibody looks pretty. Look, the holes. The front was crushed. The left front was crushed. So my Eleanor is still in the Hang on. So it was smacked on the same side in the front and back. He just said my Eleanor is rough. Can you imagine? If it was rougher than that, can you fucking imagine, dude? There we go. So my own oar was hit in the right rear. It was hit in this right front. And you could tell how bad it was by looking at the apron right there. Oh, God, no, that... Hold on, stop. Here and all in here. So this whole corner was crushed in. And we used the tow truck and, and pulled all that out. And we assembled a fender... Is he talking about this car or the previous car? This car. Okay. And I'm thinking, yeah. this car here. A big car show out in Columbus, Ohio. And we bought these fenders for 50 bucks a piece. And I got that fender for $50. And Dad, one over can here. you imagine what that frame roll looks like? And we replaced these fenders. I mean, it's pointless. He, say, he says I'm saving the car. No, it's sitting in that same spot. I promise for at least 10 fucking years rusting. That's not saving the car. You're fucking preventing other Mustangs from running by not letting that parts car be a fucking parts car. Hey, Barry, how's your alignment on that car? Just wondering. When I turn 40, I'm now 57. Because there's no way. 17 years. He's saving cars, though, guys. Go stand up for him. Say he's a helping man. He's the reason you have a Mustang you need parts for. You can't fucking find the motherfuckers because of people like this. Or hood hinges. Right. I got a fucking 69 Skylark that when I got the only thing missing off the motherfucker was a hood hinge. But there's a reason. Because they're one year only and they're a ton of fucking money. I mean, which I don't think that's why it's missing. I think they were sticky and they took them off the soak them and they just got the birthday. You know, birthday. And a lot of people Y'all, what you guys think about them? That car was smacked in the front end, right? Hard enough to wrinkle the aprons your fender aprons well your frame rails attached to said fender aprons so i just makes you wonder how it got smacked hard enough to wrinkle all that stuff but not distort the frame rail because i imagine the frame rail on the front and back are are bad like pretty bad barry i think that's points you're fucked hang it up look look man i mean no wonder they're gonna let me look Pieced it all back together. I don't know where, go, where they go. This cocksucker ain't never heard of solder and heat shrink. I swear to God he ain't. We're not getting any spark, so. What's the chain about, Barry? I want to know. Is that a motor mount? It's a spark on Eleanor. Motor, motor mount around something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably holding the frame around the bottom of the car. It's probably holding the fucking door control arm on. And I'm probably going to put a fuel cell on it. And once I get down. Oh, a Beamer, and garage, be Beamer and Sons Garage Special and fuel cell. Don't know how to I fucking put a tank in a car. Well, that's why Barry thinks every one of his cars is a race car because they all got fucking fuel cells. Yeah. Hey, Barry, you'll never be him. Uh, Richard Rawlings yeah. or Des Collins? Look, he's got a padlock on his hood. Like, who the fuck does that? 
Bad area. Yeah, I mean, Think about it, you guys. They literally have to walk up by his front porch. Barry, if, if they were if they were to touch your car, you have the high ground. <laughs> if that was here, I would just come out, post up with an AR right down on him and say, you're waiting for the cops. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, that's going to be for another episode, though, today. We're not, we're not messing with that. We cut, our, we cut our purple back here. That's our 1981 Chevrolet one-ton rollback. Again, they made a half-ton? <laughs> Explain why you're having this, Barry. You don't use it. I mean, it's hey. literally just to say I have this. So he can feel important. I have a rollback. The truck we do have has a name. This is the white truck. Notice we call this is an 85 GMC. You should, call, you should call it totally wrong. Because everything about it is totally wrong. Boom and bad. That bed's going to break. Truck, think about it, guys. When you have a, when you have a truck like that, okay, when you're towing a car, it's pulling the back down. So the weak area is right here. So what's going to happen? When you're towing a car, it's pulling the back down. So the weak area is right here. So what's going to happen? It's going to snap. Look at the back tow truck. Look how close the, the rear end is to the fucking cap. The front on this truck. There's a reason for that. Hauler, hauler around here. We use this truck for sucking dick. I buy yeah. Cars. Well, we buy cars around here. If you have something, let us know. We do buy cars here at Beamer and Sun Garage. There's our 99 Toyota. Hey, Beamer. Corolla, we just love. I got a car you can have. Just buy it. It's fucking free. Did you buy it? Excuse me. The wood latch was broke. Hey, they gave it to you, motherfucker. So, we did a, basically a copy of uh, the uh, steering wheel rope kill. But, uh, we love these guys on Roadkill. Uh, they're on the Motor Trend channel. And you guys can uh, pick that up for, I think it's five bucks a month. If you can get it for a dollar or two a month, it's on the Motor Trend channel, people. And we four ninety nine, dollars Barry. $5. And there's a guy named Fragberger, uh, David Fragberger. I've been watching Roadkill since, uh, since I was in high school. Bell four door, uh, where they drilled uh, holes uh, in the hood right here. <clears throat> and what they did was they mounted their pins in the car. And you know what? I'm shocked on something, though. When Barry has an overheating issue, I'm shocked he don't fucking ratchet strap his hood to the roof. And then what they did was they, they took grease. Why haven't you screwed that down? They put grease on top of each pin right here. Oh, mark no, the area. Right there. Oh, you so smart. Don't lie, Barry. You pick that fucking hood up as far as you can, slam it down and look for the dent. And just do it right in the center of the He thinks David Freiberger or Mike Finnegan would want anything to do with it or Steve Dawson. I took grease and put grease on top of that pen. It's a fucking knockoff battery, dude, or it's a junkyard battery. It's junkyard a battery. Probably a junkyard battery. I stopped, of course, because it didn't have holes in it. I raised it back up, and then there was a grease mark. There was a grease mark here. And then over here. Obviously, you can drill the right hole. There. So what I did was, I took a drill, and I just drilled right up. And you got your motor here, running? Straight up. I just drilled, drilled right up in the grease. You with fucked up about 10 times. Look how big you bought that fucking hole is. How many times did you miss? Look at you. Know, you. Kind of Damn, Barry. It's like everything else you like. You can't hit the hole. Because it wasn't per yeah, precise. And then once I did that, uh, you know, I... Uh, Look, this is this is how half finished this motherfucker is. Hey Barry, didn't those things come with little screws to screw the plates onto the hood? And screws? And not washers, dickhead. No, I know what he did. They robbed him off one of the other cars. Look how fucking rusty they are. Look. Look how rusty the. the Pins are. So Those ain't the nowhere near new. They probably are, but that's my point. That's what I'm saying. That's why everybody says it's killing shit because look what a little bit of rain and shit does to, to metal, man. Then you amplify that by weeds and leaves and shit, you know, all up on it. Keep that damn more water, you know? But anyways, that's the 99 Toyota. Hey, Barry, where you been at, buddy? We got one minute. We got gate to it, and that's the minute you bought it. We have uh, some parts we got with this car. 
Um, Did they give you a brain? I don't know if we can show them right now. Courage? A soul? Here, here. Empathy? Morals? Them. Values? They give you any of that? Uh, on the show. Well, the little captain turns up in the dictionary, you know what the fuck they mean. And right here. Hey, mom. Barry, when your mom looked at you said, you're so special, that wasn't a compliment. Take his mom out. And there we go. Those are some uh, shorty headers right there for a big block price or 33, 440. Uh, R&B. <laughs> they leave around my name. It's leaking. But you can put on anything. And we've got a pair of them. And I'm playing the cut. So if you know anybody's looking for some headers, uh, hit us up here. But he's uh, not a horror here. folk. I mean. Barry, those are probably like the cheapest fucking headers you can buy. They're probably like $40. And you're going to sell them for 100 thinking you're going to sell them. So you got one there and you got one there. It's a dumb fucking kill. Come pay for it. Yeah, was that those for sale? Not me. I'd look at eBay first. Garage. And, uh. Here's a lesson for anybody that's going to buy anything from anything. Look at what something goes for on eBay and say for selling. Look what somebody has sold it for on eBay. And then that's what you either give or that's what you either put online for sell for. Go like, I don't know, 20 or $30 under that price. That's real special to me. It's first time Barry ever got head in a car. It didn't have anything in when we bought it. Barry, the first thing that's supposed to use your brain. It's it's really special. You guys, you know why the car is special? Because Super Sam gave him head in that car for the first time. I think Barry's going to give him head because he's a hype man. He's the one who always suck up. Talking about how bad motherfuckers are. And... How much shipping cost you, Barry? Truck freight on, e you know, on an engine, especially bought off eBay, that's pretty expensive. Come, can you work on it, Barry? Coming from somebody that's actually, you know, shipped a lot of parts. Beamer and Sun Garage Special, fuel, you know, shitty fuel pump. No, it's not. The, I gotta go buy one for my Project Grand for my 63 Valiant. They're about 150 bucks. Uh, we're not done with it. It does have a... Uh, a General Motors quadrant carburetor, and that's a four barrel intake. It's uh, supposed to be something like a late 70s or early 80 model 318. Ooh. That's, a, that's a powerhouse, Barry. I didn't think 318 stand with a four barrel intake, did they? And, uh, no, no. I don't know either. I, I, don't know it. Uh, I believe in no replacement for displacement, so. I don't know. I'm probably wrong on that, guys. And if I am, I apologize. Correct I could have swore somebody said that 318 didn't come with four barrel intake. Listen, you folks, I'm going to tell y'all something. Because I'm going to feel like an idiot. Because he was going to yell at me that I'm wrong. And I probably am wrong. And I apologize in advance for being an idiot. Listen, folks, I'm going to say something. You're going to build a car. There's no replacement for displacement. That means put the bigger fucking engine in your car and get more power. Four years ago, it's still staying in the same spot with no work being done to it. Run it out beyond, I mean... It looks so much worse. Race car. Hey, Barry. Hey, Barry. I got one, too. Does that mean I own a race car? Am I, like, Barry now? Am I special? What's going on with it is it's you coming and tries to lock itself down. Please don't work on me. Here. Uh, we never named this one. It's our 71 four door. We've seen this. I got a name uh, for it. Shipbox. Parts car. Uh, I got a name for it. Semen. This is our white smoker. We a white smoke guitar. Oh, no. I got a name for it. A good one. Jack and Austin. He said he was white smoke the tires of gravel. Damn, is that a is that a unit of measurement there, Barry? I can make my bicycle do a burnout on gravel. Well, no, I'm looking forward to the pumpkin running the spring running the grass. <laughs> <laughs> What's that thing that scooter you're gonna get from old dude? I gotta get a 
it's not a scooter. It's if y'all want to see a future build, we got a couple big builds coming up on the channel here real soon on the main channel. Poor man speech up. Dad has a 66 Honda Club something scooter coming. And you guys will see that. I personally, you know, I'm I'm not a big scooter guy, but I wouldn't be caught. It's 50 cc's. It's a scooter. You know, the time I see my friends had poked fun at people on a moped. The dream's the motorcycle version. I wish it was a dream. It'd look cooler. The only time I my friend had made something fun of somebody driving by on a moped. And we had a piece of pipe that connected here and here. So it circulated and we got heat all the time. Like the Cadillac. We just did an episode uh, a couple a couple videos ago where we made that thing circulate all the time. So it's got heat all the time. And we're probably going to have to uh, take that apart and bypass that. Nobody in the wrong moment put that buy back in that car. Would, uh, and buy, would, buy a new one. Uh, no, listen, this is the numbers matching restoration. This hose, they would never put that back in. And meet this hose, either, uh, mate this hose into the heater control valve. Um, Barry, why not just loop your fucking hoses at the engine and be done? To this hose, they made, made them together. So it'll just circulate and not go dirty. You don't need heat. That's not a necessary fucking factor in that car. Uh, that's we don't drive the car. <laughs> hey Barry, you want to sell a fan shot off of that? Wait, we got your fan shot, don't we? Well, let's see if we can get the uh, the 71 Skylark. So, anybody got 69 hoodies out there, but it has to be 69 only. I mean, y'all want to hear how fucking stupid this fucking dude is? He didn't know that that bed was an OBS bed. We didn't bring anything out to prime the carburetor. Kind of going on a whim. That's what got me blocked because I kept saying every time he showed the bed. I like that bed. That's an OBS bed. Yeah, I have to to Holy shit, Dad. He's driving his. I wish he would drive his Mach 1. He, he calls us a garage, folks, to quit bait you people. I mean, seriously, because this is not a garage. Yeah. Garages actually work on things. They can do you, things to cars besides just start them and run them around the yard. And, I can mean, you imagine the, the, what, the can you imagine the turning radius of that know. small wheel? Like how many times you have to right. turn it before you actually turn? Oh, this is sure what we have on here it is a uh, basically it's You're a choosing Chong special. This was known uh, for from one of our episodes. I think it was up in smoke. They had this episode. You mean movie? He had an impact. Jesus Christ. He don't even know what fucking car Cheech drove. It was an Impala, you fucking re re. Yeah, so you can see what will happen if your finger will go into the hole, and as you steer it, your finger will. Man, you need to put that dirty fucking finger of yours in there, man, to clean it off. We run on our, you know, YouTube channel here. But we stay off the street. Even though this car is street legal, it does have an historical tag on it. That makes a lot of sense, Barry. Uh, holidays, parades, um, and See? also uh, uh, in a car, to and from car shows. And during a car show, we can also drive these uh, historical cars on the, you know, holidays, like I said, and uh, to and from car. Only the parades, dickhead. You can't just say, it's, oh, it's, it's Christmas, I'm going to go to the store. Okay, that was the end of that video. Alrighty, folks. We're going to end it here. Barry, who the fuck would do that? Plate their car where they can only drive their car on certain days that... Somebody's cheap and don't want to insure it and shit. Because you still say, who's not touch the road? Alright, folks. We'll be back tomorrow night for a another couple reaction videos. Again, me and my dad do three a night. I think next time we'll uh, look at Barry's pool video where he walks around in the abandoned pool and uh, show you guys why he's got all these trespassing, you know, charges. And as always, fuck you, Barry. Fuck you, cut. Fuck you, Barry. Leave them kids alone. Make some content tomorrow, Barry. Make some content. Maybe show us the VINs on all them cars. Prove, prove all your claims. Um, Go check out Mako. Fasting, 
and Lipstick Garage. And if you want to actually see cars being built, go check out the main channel, Poor Man's Speed Shop. And uh, you want to see a list of Barry's charges, stay tuned to the end. And that's only some of them. And last but not least, Ryan, if you're watching this, buddy, like Dad said, go in there and tell him the truth. Don't lie to him. Don't say you don't have assets. Don't. Don't, because that's just going to land you in more hot water. You tried help. You, I guarantee you that that 12 stacks was spent on shit for your dad. Cars. Because it's not going to look good, kid. I mean, I'm, to be honest with you, I mean, you don't have a bunch of overhead that you're paying. It's not like you pay 500 in rent plus utilities a month. It's going to look like you have all this money and all these assets, but you can't pay the credit card companies. It almost looks like, you know, you took advantage of the situation knowing you couldn't pay them back. I mean, I'm just trying to help you, man. I mean, you don't have to listen to me. I mean... I probably wouldn't listen to me either, but... Maybe you can go in, kid, and say that you, you take care of your dad, which you do. I mean, you're... There's, there's enough people that hate your dad, buddy, that, that they don't care. I mean, that court is probably going to know you have a YouTube channel that's monetized, that you own 12 fucking cars. They might even know before you get there. And I want to say this, Ryan, you're a good kid. You're a... Well, you're a man. You're, old, little, you're older than me. You're 20 years older than me. But... 25 years, I think. No, you're 20 years because I'm 25, so I think you're like 45, 46. You're a good dude. I mean, I think it's 42 years old. you're a good dude. 41. And it's shitty your life, you know, your life was like it was, man. Just, I mean, you had, he had a shit. I mean, you know, when I think about it, this dude had a shit together. He had a credit card for, that had a, at least a $12,000 credit limit because that's what he owed him. So. And now his credit's fucked all to hell. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if you pay the bill or you don't pay the bill. Your credit, that's still going to look on your credit. About it. he's not, it's not like he's been paying rent for the past four fucking years. So, why could he make his credit card payment? Well, because he has to pay for Barry. He has to buy Barry's cigarettes. I don't know, he might smoke too. So, if that's the case, he's buying four packs of cigarettes a day. I mean, think about it, man. I mean, food. House fucking taxes. I mean, Barry talks about how the kid had to go pay his property taxes in one of them fucking videos. I mean... Yep. Barry is not a good dude, folks. I mean, he is not. I'm sorry. I know I keep saying it over and over and over, but he is a bad person. He is incapable of change. Because in order to change, you have to admit you have a fault and be, learn from it. And as always, y'all have a good night, a blessed night. And if you're a Barry lover, you have a good night, too. As long as you're not a pedo, yeah. man, and you try to set up for a pedo, God bless you. I you're mean, welcome back here anytime. And, uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Now, we opened up the playpen. Ha, 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 ha. We took out the baby maker and opened up the playpen. Yeah. Winnie. I couldn't stand the stink in there if I went to his lobby or his apartment, you know what I mean? Them guys are nasty. You know that, right? And black people don't take a bath. Oh my God! They got these. They get these what they call ringworms in their head. Oh my God! And the talk about lice. Oh my God! And the women are just as bad. Oh God, no! I was like, who to? Oh. They stink that bad. Oh. And their clothes are probably all just, ugh, you know? Oh, my God. Yeah, I had one of them.